guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be recreating a look that I um, showed you guys on Instagram and Facebook and all that. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see that and I also posted it on Twitter. I right, let me um, show you guys really quick. So it was this bold, pretty look. A lot of you guys wanted me to do this makeup look right here. So I'm just going to do it for you guys. Um, I already did my hair how I did it yesterday. You can do your hair however you want, messy bun. I just did it sleek, um, sleek back. And then you can straighten this, whatever you want with the excess hair. But So I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you guys how I got this makeup look. But if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look, for you could wear this for prom, red carpet, just like big events. Um, like a holiday event, um, you can wear this look anywhere. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit, and if I look like right here, um, it's just because I'm looking at my mirror, but I also have a mirror on this, so I'll be using that. So we're going to start off with the eyes, and I'm just going to prime my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is a sample size, but I'm just going to add some of this onto my eyelids, and I'm just going to prime. I do recommend priming um, your eyelids, just because if you have a big giant vent, you want that on eyeshadow to stay on you don't want it to slide everywhere but the eyeshadow palette i'm going to be using today laura lee um los angeles cat's pajamas palette and those shadows do not um slide they stay in place i love the colors in it that's why i'm using this one now i'm going to go into the laura lee los angeles cat's pajamas palette i absolutely love this palette and you can kind of tell that i've been using it a lot not really a lot but you can still tell um the shadows still look in great condition even when you use it, so that's always nice. Um, so I'm just going to go into the shade Okie Dokie, which is like a white color, and I'm just going to set all um, this concealer into place. And you always want to set your concealer uh, just because it makes all your applications and your blending so much easier. So I'm just going to be taking this blending brush. I did get these at Bath and Body Works. They are new. So I just wanted to try them out. And they are so soft on the face. Uh, and if you have sensitive skin like I do, it's super nice because it's not harsh on your skin. And it's not going to irritate it. It's Bomb Diggity and Kooky. So I mixed Bomb Diggity that is right here. It's the lighter brown color. And then I mixed this plum purple color just like that and I'm gonna take it I'm just going to blend it on the crease and you're just gonna keep dipping back into those two shades and building it up and if you're grabbing a little bit more of the brown just dip your brush into kooky and just darken it up a little bit and it doesn't have to be perfect um, and it doesn't matter if you get it down on your actual lid area, just because we are going to be covering it up with a darker color, so you're not going to be able to see it, the underneath color anyways. So you're just going to keep blending it out like that, and you want to make sure it's completely blended, and that you have, um, you see how it's completely blended, very nice. You want to make sure so it's not splot or patchy. So now that I got both of the colors on, I'm just going to be taking a clean makeup wipe. And I'm just going to be cleaning this up. Because now it has that nice sharp line. Now that we have all the colors we want onto the crease, I'm just going to be taking a brush like this once again from the um, Bath & Body Works um, eyeshadow collection. And I'm just going to be taking the shade Corky right here. And I'm just going to be packing this on my lid. And it picks up awesome and you, I hardly got any fallout. So now I'm just going to take this mirror and I'm just going to pack it on the lid. That gorgeous. This is without any Fix Plus or setting spray. So just like that, and I did go a little bit underneath on uh, accident. Just have your makeup wipe there, um, just to clean anything up. And you could do this look after you add foundation and all your other products onto your face. I recommend doing the eyes first, just because it's easier, plus you can clean up everything. So I'm going to go back into this blending brush that we used earlier, and I'm going to take the out 
out the other shade, which is right here. It is a darker purple color. It's shimmery, but it's not. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm just going to lightly blend this into the crease to blend everything together. I'm going to go into N1 Ear right here, and it is a cranberry shade. This shade right here. And I'm just going to pack that on the other dark purple shade. But this eye look looks a little different from what I just did before because I undid it all just because I didn't like how it was turning out and I thought it was going way too high up. And I didn't like how every time I cleaned it, it just didn't look right. And so I just decided to start over. Um, and I'm actually liking this a lot better than what I did in the beginning. So next for the color, I'm going to take a little bit of the outer out the other and I'm just going to take it on this itty bitty small brush I'm just going to put it on the outer side just to darken things up a tad and then I'm going to be taking brush again and I'm just going to clean it off a little bit I'm gonna go into the oddball and the oddball is the black shade so I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to lightly tap it on just in like the inner V area just to darken the outer side but you want to be really careful because you don't want to go too heavy Probably just like that. And I'm going to take the same blending brush, lightly tap over it to make it look blended. Just like that. And you're going to do the exact same thing with the other eye. I am done with the top look. I am going to go put some foundation on. And I'm actually going to show you guys what I do for this full glam look. Um, so I'm going to go into this invaluable total coverage foundation but i just remember before we do that we're gonna prime i have been using this new coconut skin smoothing primer from the first aid and i really like it it does have an odd smell i just thought in the beginning when i first used it i was like oh this scent's gonna go away and i mean you stop to notice it I'm going to be going into the total coverage, um, infallible, well, infallible total coverage, and this is a foundation that it says it lasts for 24 hours. I've actually never tried a foundation where they're like, oh yeah, it lasts for 24 hours. Never tried that. So I'm just going to squeeze it on the back of my hand. Since this is going to be a glam look, I am going to do, oh, not a lot, but I don't know if I did grab a lot, who knows. We'll figure it out when we start blending. So for the shade of this foundation, it is the shade 302 Creamy Neutral. As you can tell, it is full coverage already. I haven't even dipped my beauty blender back into the foundation. So I'm going to do that now. So a lot of this foundation goes a long way, or I should say, a little bit of this foundation goes a long way. Uh, so if you guys are looking for a drugstore foundation that is full coverage for like a glam night, I recommend this one, the Invaluable Total Coverage, or I do recommend the Milani Foundation. The Mo I believe it's the Milani foundation and concealer. I only use a sample size of it, and I actually don't have it anymore. But I really liked how full coverage and stuff it was. So, so I just wiped that off, and now I'm gonna go into concealer. And I'm like you guys know, I'm going to go into my Tarte Shape Tape concealer, but I'm not gonna put a lot on, just because this is already full coverage, and this concealer is full coverage too. So as you guys can tell, that is full coverage, which is always nice. I love full coverage foundation and concealer all together. So now I'm just going to put bronzer on my face, and I'm going to put blush. So I'm going to go into this brush right here. And for the bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soule, like always. And I'm just going to tap some of that off, just like that. And then I'm going to go into this brush right here from BH Cosmetics, and I'm just going to blend all this out. Like I said, I am looking a little pale. So now I'm going to go into blush, and I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brush blush, 
and the color concept. And I'm just going to take a Lexi brush. And I would always say if you're doing a full coverage look or a full glam look, always include blush into your look. Even if you don't like blush, just because it's going to wake your face up and it's going to be like a color, a pop of color. Now I'm going to take the Fit Me Loose um, setting powder um, or finishing powder in the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade. I'm actually going to... There we go. I'm going to take this beauty blender because it has a nice sharp edge. And I'm just going to cut out my bottom of my cheekbones. Just like that. So now I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. I'm back and my brows are on. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm going to do for the bottom lash line. I'll be taking the color Kooky. I'm just going to go add that on the bottom lash line first. But before I do that, I'm going to take this brush, sweep away that powder underneath the eyes. So now that I have that done, I am going to dip into the shade N1 Ear, but I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take... I'm going to take this brush that we packed all the color on, and I'm going to go into the N1 Ear which is that cranberry shade, and I'm just going to lightly push that against my waterline, just like that. And so now you can tell um, the bold look is starting to come together. So next is mascara, and I'm going to go into the Bobbi Brown mascara. I'm just going to add that on my top and bottom lash line. So this is my mascara on looks like on and it does bring the look together a lot more just added some glow basically everywhere and i'm gonna go back into this bronzer just to add some color to the forehead this is done i am going to go back into for the last time i'm gonna go back into the palette and i'm gonna take scatterbrain right here it is a pretty gold color and I'm just going to be taking I'm just going to be taking this brush and I'm going to be dipping it into scatterbrain and I'm going to add that into my inner corner. I love this gold color because it's so pretty for an inner highlight and all that. So now I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to wipe off just that nice pretty shape. So now I'm going to go in with the makeup wipe and I'm just going to remove all this off my lips and I'm going to add a lip color. So I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D um Liquid lip in the color Lude Wig, and I'm just going to add this on my lips. So this is the final look. So this is the final look. Normally, I would go change into, like, a pretty black dress or something strapless. Just, and then I would um, highlight my collarbones just a little bit. And probably that would be it. But... So I hope you guys like me using the Lori Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas palette. I've had it for a while, but I haven't been able to show you guys a tutorial. Every time I do, it doesn't turn out the way I want it to. So I really like this bold, pretty look. It is bold, but it's absolutely gorgeous once again. Um, other than that, I hope you guys really like this video, and if you guys like this video, remember to give this video a big uh, thumbs up before you guys leave, because that's always that always helps me out. And don't forget to comment below if you guys really like this eye look, and you want me to do a couple more bold looks. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys!